Duchess Sophie rocks daring new look in biker jacket and studded accessory. The Duchess of Edinburgh was the epitome of elegance as she graced the International Carriage Driving Grand Prix at the Royal Windsor Horse Show on Saturday. The wife of Prince Edward, 59, looked radiant as ever as she joined her husband and their children, Lady Louise Windsor and James, Earl of Wessex, at the annual occasion in Windsor. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Embracing the spring chill, Duchess Sophie dressed for crisper weather as she donned a blue corduroy dress from royally loved brand Aspiger. Her Victoria dress, which featured statement puffed shoulders and a sophisticated V neckline, was perfectly paired with maroon leather boots. The royal embraced an edgier aesthetic than her usual feminine, fit and flare silhouette, rocking a suede, tawny biker jacket from Paige. Adding to her biker babe ensemble, the Duchess added a studded leather Oscan moon shoulder bag from Isabel Morant, elevating her cognac hued accessory with an Hermes silk scarf effortlessly tied around the handle. The mother of two wore her blonde hair down in carefree curls, opting to rock a natural makeup look consisting of a soft blush and light lashing of mascara. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh's outing with both their children is a rare one, as their eldest Louise has taken a significant amount of time out of the spotlight, as she continues her studies at St Andrews University. Louise was all smiles as she joined her parents on Friday. The 20-year-old was wearing a Royal Windsor horse show gilet, espresso-hued country boots and a feather-adorned fedora from Hayfield, England, as she drove an e-bike around the track to monitor the carriage driving. Lady Louise was introduced to carriage driving by her late grandfather, Prince Philip. Her grandfather was key in establishing carriage driving as a sport in the UK, and Lady Louise made her carriage driving debut when she was just 17 at the Royal Windsor Horse Show, and it brought the late Queen Elizabeth II to tears. The late Duke of Edinburgh raced carriages near Norfolk in the 1970s before going on to represent Britain at several World and European Championships, explaining he took up the pastime after retiring from polo in his 50s. Duchess Sophie flew back from Ukraine on an official royal engagement in time for the Royal Windsor Horse Show. The Duchess of Edinburgh, 59, was seen arriving at the Fay Dressage Grand Prix at Windsor Castle looking radiant in an appropriately on-brand countryside chic look with her characteristic touch of elegance. The royal was seen recycling her Pontifit Plus flare midi dress with Ponty jersey tailoring from Me Plus M which featured a collared neckline, a button-down bodice, and a floaty shin grazing skirt. The navy dress was complemented by her unexpected navy suede ankle boots, the Arizona style from Penelope Chilvers. The mother of two usually opts for a knee-high pair so it was a welcome departure to see the Duchess in a more casual ankle style. Breaking up the navy was her fitted light brown blazer which had a subtle navy check pattern and featured zip detailing around the hem. Sophie was also seen carrying her beautiful Oscan moon stud embellished leather shoulder bag in cognac from Isabel Morant which added warmth to the look. Dainty gold earrings and a matching pendant with a fine chain rounded off her look and her hair and makeup were similarly understated for a daytime appropriate aesthetic. The Duchess outing in Windsor follows her recent visit to Ukraine as the first British royal to do so since the Russian invasion. She flew over to demonstrate solidarity with those impacted by the war, as a continuation of her work supporting survivors of conflict-related sexual violence. She was seen wearing the Federa floral silk crepe to chine maxi dress from Max Mara which featured an oversized floral print and fitted waistline as she gave a speech during a reception at the residence of the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Ukraine, Martin Harris, in Kyiv. Earlier that day, Prince Edward's wife accompanied the First Lady of Ukraine Alina Zelenska to a visit to the St. Sophia Cathedral in Kyiv and visited the UNFPA office to meet with war victims, before a trip to the family center of the Save Ukraine NGO in Irpin.